just a room of positivity, love, warmth, uh, and blessings. Uh, hopefully, if you had a bad night, that your morning goes better. And hopefully, if you have a bad day today, then your Sunday will be better. Blessings to each and every one of you. That's what I wanted to say to you guys this morning. Would you, would you, <laughs> would you all, Joe? Oh, we got to stop that. <laughs> we got to Aaliyah, what's up, man? <laughs> what's going on, Aaliyah, man? <laughs> I just told you what I'm on. I don't man. know, Joe. Positive. I don't believe it. It'd be the voice. It'd be the titles. I don't know. No, nah, yeah, no, it's just positivity. I tried to bring Ian up to spread some, Ian spread is some not positivity. Ian with you. Not Ian, is. <laughs> spread some positivity, man. That's it. There's nothing going on. Even if you don't believe me, there's nothing going on okay. right now. I know some of y'all think I'd be having things going on, but I'm just trying. I hear you. I hear you, Joe. I believe you. I receive what you're saying. How you been? Amazing. How are you? Good. Glad to hear that. I'm blessed. You're blessed and highly blessed favored. Too. Oh, we're lowly favorable <laughs> here. Here, just lit outside. That's fair. <laughs> what you doing tonight? Uh, I am prepping for Father's Day. Mm. That's what I'm doing. What you doing for Father's Day? Uh, brunch and dinner. <laughs> Dad, kids, yeah. that type shit. Love it. Dad, kids type shit. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, please. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. I'm doing the same. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers up here. Yes, happy Father's Day to you, Joe, and all the dads. Yeah, no, that's important. What are you doing for Father's Day? I'm hanging with all my fathers. <laughs> and cooking How many fathers you I have two. We talked about this, Joe. We did, didn't we? Yes. And you said you don't care about women who got dads. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't... <laughs> Yo, don't do that. Okay, don't, okay. don't do that. How the fuck you gonna do that? I won't tell everybody else what you said. Oh, thanks. Because I definitely don't remember. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't remember at all. It's okay. Ian, why are you so quiet, man? What's up? Well, Julia was... uh, Well, happy Father's Day to everyone. There you like, go. I hope everyone has a very nice Father's Day. Uh, Julia was saying, I want to listen to the podcast. I'm like, babe, you don't want to listen. I'm like, please don't. And she's like, I'm listening. And then I saw a couple of comments regarding me being a cuck or a cuckold. And that made me really want to push her away from listening. But she's even more intrigued now. So here we are walking near the park. And she said, curiosity is going to kill the cat. So whatever. Thank you for that, buddy. Uh, my mom just hung up with me because she wanted to listen to the podcast. I know, so. but I didn't call you a cuck. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? You called me a cuckold on the podcast, Joe. Why? Why would somebody say that? No, 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 not somebody. You. Yeah, but even if I'm the somebody, why would why would I say that? We must have been having a conversation of uh, double standards at the time. And how Julia and I treat our relationship versus the rest of the room with their significant others or not. But that doesn't even have anything to do with cuckolding. I, I know. I don't know why you threw it out. You said, shut the hell up, you cuck. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the guy who always told me that words have power. So I was like, well, there goes that. Yo, that's funny. Shut that's up, saying. shut the fuck up, you cuck. What? Yes, it was, I'm paraphrasing, but that was pretty much what you said. Oh, my God. Damn it, that's funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny, actually. That's too, horrible. Actually. That is so horrible. But I'm that, sorry. That, <laughs> it's okay, but, you know, words have meaning, and in context with other things that we've done before when I've brought up 
pegging, mm-hmm. not that I have ever done that, but when I brought oh, up the concept of it. Morning. Oh, you freaky as hell. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's hey. only 1050. Freaky ass. I am not freaky any I'm not freaky anything, but actually I am, but not that. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Get your fun. shit off Ian. It's okay. Give me a freak bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm not shameful about any of my kinks or freaky shit. It's just that I've brought up my wife mentioning pegging before on a previous pod with my wife. And then you going in and calling me a cuck. It just adds like this unnecessary pizzazz to who people think I am. Now we all think he freaky as hell. <laughs> I okay, I think I think that's what we can agree on. Can we at least agree that you might just be a little freaky? <laughs> Listen, I'm definitely freaky. I feel like people who aren't freaky are serial killers. <laughs> yeah, people are weird who aren't freaky. What up, been... the ghoul? <laughs> yeah, the ghoul has <laughs> struck again. You think that was funny? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, freaking hilarious. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. <laughs> cool. Good morning, Joe. What's up? What's Good morning, Jonay. Morning. How are you doing today? Did you eat breakfast? Uh, no. No. But I, I, I had, a, had a cigarette and coffee. I had a late dinner. Oh. Okay. Well, or morning dinner. What? You know what? I don't even want to know. Okay, cool. I like pop. <laughs> Yo, what does morning dinner mean? And morning where were you last night? That's when you get a plate at the strip club. I just uh, said that to Julia on mute. Yeah. Understood. Oxtail, rice, broccoli, and a little asparagus. It was good. Oh, I ate that at 3 a.m. When did you eat that? 3 a.m.? Um, I ate that when I returned home. Since you're not the feds, I'm not going to tell you when that was, but it was mm-hmm. late or early. Mhm. It was good though, okay. but you know I'm on a diet, so I only took I was a few good. bites. I'm taking notes, I'm like that doesn't sound very uh get slim, but it's okay. Yeah, no, no, I just took a few bites. Just took a mm-hmm. few bites. Okay. What does this diet consist of, Joe? Not eating. I feel like you're <laughs> that yeah, is I, not I, healthy. I can hear <laughs> that Aaliyah is not to how you want to make your back. I can hear you trying to be funny, Aaliyah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you weren't hitting your weight loss goals. Would you ever do Ozempic? Would I ever like in life or like now? Well, I know I know how you think. So if I say ever, you're like, I can't say ever. But would you do it in the near future if you weren't losing the weight you wanted to? Uh, no. Okay. You're too afraid of the side effects or just not your bag? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. not I'm, I wasn't big enough to consider that. Oh, okay. You think it's a size thing? You have to be a you have to be a certain size to even consider in your brain. Uh, for me and my body, like okay, I didn't need to lose nothing that I couldn't lose on my own, and I'm scared of the side effects, and I'm not just putting random shit in my body without knowing what it's about to do to me if it's not the vaccine. I respect that. You heard what happened to Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> okra or Oprah? Oprah. <laughs> and then you'd be scared to like get addicted to some shit. Mm-hmm. And then That's the true. shit ain't the cheapest either. My pops was on it. He said it was like twelve or fifteen hundred a month just for the. Yeah. He had to be on it. He had medical issues. Rest in peace. But I was just about to say everybody trying to lose weight with it, and they taking it up from the people who have diabetes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And after dope sick, I'm just leery of things that Listen, seem to dope sick changed everything. Yeah, the, the doctors are treating Ozempic like they were treating um Oxy. Yeah, Oxy and Perps. Mm-hmm. Sex. They really are. So what you just think there's a huge pharma kickback for everyone that gives it to somebody? Oh no, one hundred percent. I don't think I know. The last time I went to the doctor, it was like a fucking extended commercial. So oh, wait, oh, wait, Ian, you must think our government cares about us. Oh, no. I don't think, I, not only do <laughs> right. I not think they care about us, they're trying to find a way to eliminate us. Right, exactly. <laughs> and my wife and mother are in healthcare, and as nice as they are about the system they work in, they always tell me about how corrupt and fucked up it is, so I understand. Literally. So, Joe, I thought you woke up at least in a better space. Why? Why are we naming this this? 
You should have heard how he started the space journey. Oh, God. It was it was very peaceful and zen like, but okay. he just it gave very much I'm on bullshit. You know how Joe do. <sighs> but he Yo, you know, you don't know this every time you say something about me, you you've like ended with you know how Joe do. Because or... Joe, you be like, you a name a space something like this, and then you will open it and say, Good morning with that <laughs> voice. Like we know you be on bullshit. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. <laughs> well, just so you know, I started this room full of positivity, blessings, and love. That's it. And warmth. <laughs> you it's hear good. her sigh? Like it's she is good vibes sigh. over here. <laughs> is it? Change it's the just good name. vibes. Change the name then. Change it to good vibes, and then we can start with them. Uh, no, you shouldn't let titles control <laughs> control your temperament. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to fight through whatever the title now, is. Now, when I called you a gaslighter. And manifest good <laughs> vibes regardless of we your definitely surroundings. Definitely not call you a gaslighter. I'm a gaslighter. I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> they coming for you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. I, don't, I don't do good with the buzzwords. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, Sigma. Uh, Jonay, how, how are you celebrating? How are you celebrating all of the great dads in the world tomorrow? Um, I'm sending positive vibes to all the great dads. I know a lot of great dads, actually. Um, so that's yeah. all niggas get is like some good vibes. I'm sending mine a text. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna send out texts. I'm definitely going to. Um, yeah. Donay said that's all I got. Okay. So, so good vibes in the text. Yeah, no. All right. I'm wow. Send, I'm Lucky send, us. No, I'm going to send my dad a text. I'm going to, you know, maybe send him a cash app. Um, ha uh, Happy Father's Day, Joe. Uh, Happy Father's Day. Wait, Ian, are you a dad? I'm not a dad, but uh, happy Father's Day to my dad. Who yeah, happy Father's Day. Away. To Rest in peace to your dad, Ian. Thank you very God. much. Happy Father's Day, Imani. And all the other fathers in the room. There we go. Happy see, Father's Day. That's why I started this room. Did you feel that love? Yeah. See, mine is genuine. I don't know about yours. Mm. No, mine is genuine too. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. You know, it's it's hard. It probably it's probably tough being a dad. Now, Joe, if you were at for the missus, you would know. We spent a lot of time giving dads props. So No, too much time. That's why I left. But wow. What, what I heard Black men? It was it was great. You know he liked the mess. <laughs> yeah, y'all was, was like the showing girl. too much love. It's like oh we would let, let them get their shit off. It's men's health, uh, mental health men's month. What is it? Whatever it is. You know. Damn, Jonay, get it right, please. Yeah, yeah men, they gonna jump us. Health, um, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So, what are you getting your dad, Joe? I mean, do you mind telling us? Which are you planning on getting pops a gift, or are you just trying to plan some time with them? What you doing? Um, uh, I'm doing both. Okay. And yes, I mind. Mm. What, you, I what you think Trey getting you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't know. Let me be let me be optimistic. I don't know. Trey gonna come through. He learned from last year. That's exactly what kids do. They hey. learn from their mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Joe. Be nice to Trey. <laughs> nah, he's supposed to take me to dinner. Listen, I said on the pod, my talk with him was very simple. Hey, you you got money? He said, yeah. I said, we lit. That's it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Yeah, Oops. you got a good job. Let me see it. Johnny, did you watch the game last night? <sighs> yes, girl. I watched the game last night. Um... Honestly, I feel like I've come I've come to the reasoning that they just allowed them to, you know, do what they did so that we can win a ring in the garden. That's it. Is is that is that what? Happened? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to re I'm going to run with that. As a sports fan, I fully understand why you said that. Yeah. I said to make sure that <laughs> well, now why they did what they did. I'm like, "Damn. Okay. 30 40. Okay, that's a little excessive, but mm. I know it was bad. Amani, um, what's good, my guy? <laughs> what's good, nigga? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> my bum ass is still in bed. You party no, hard no. last night too? No, I ain't do nothing. Oh. I went to bed early and I woke up late for the first time in a long time. It felt good. Blessed, 
blessed. That's fire. It's fire on a Saturday morning. Now, Joe, I had a quick question for you. I saw you post on Instagram them toilets. So um, were, are you um, pleased with your buy? Yes. Mm. Can you explain to us, like, what, what was the point of getting those high-tech toilets for what? To shit better. Oh, my God. <laughs> the diet isn't going to do that. <laughs> the diet isn't going to do that. <laughs> to shit better. Okay, cool. I wanted to shit better. I was tired of having to go to my mom's house for the good shit, all right? I wanted to be home and take a good shit with the toilet speaking to me and lighting up and massaging my ass <laughs> and heating up. What the fuck are we talking about? Yes. Why do we ask him questions? <laughs> yes. Why you when I go to that? Johnny Rockets, I like when they come out and do the little dance. Yes. <laughs> Oh, reason That's I'm what asking. the toilet is doing. It's They're doing funny. a fucking dance, all right? Joe, but the reason... So I'm I hear you trying to be funny. Is because you think you're ghetto, and that's what I'm trying to say. I think these He's are the not. points that need to be made to disprove your whole I'm the ghetto. Please, please remind them, Joe. Like, yeah, he's fake ghetto. He, fake he ghetto. was fighting hard to try to say he was ghetto, too. You, you want to be so ghetto? No. Not. It's not there, Joe. It's okay. It's not ghetto. He could not be ghetto and then want to... Joe Joe Nay. Yes. And... I say this with love and care and respect. <laughs> but how do I know that you are the appropriate identifier Ooh. of ghetto? And she's not that's yeah, fair. John a, you, that's you, fair. Yeah, what? I don't know. That's fair. I've I've been on FaceTime with John A. I've seen those walls. Oh, wait it. a minute. It is hey, not, hey, it is hey, not hey, giving hey. anything close to ghetto over there. Nor do I all. think having nice shit means that you're not ghetto. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, yeah but John, oh, let me tell you about John A, Joe. And John A won't let girls kiss her, so there's that. What? Yeah. Feet. And she used to smoke. She used to smoke <laughs> black if I was in high school. Wait, Aaliyah, 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 what? <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. I, I promise you, you want to do this? Okay. I love you. I'm, I'm done. done. Yeah, no. <laughs> like Amani, you was in the house last night, tucked away in bed, safe, secure, and comfortable. Have getting some of the best sleep you ever got after a nice, hard, long day at work, right? That's what you did. That's what most of America did. You know where I was at, nigga, last night? Joe. That makes you ghetto? <laughs> Joe. Like, you, do you, know, do you know who I was around last night? Joe, let me ask you a question. Huh? <laughs> well, you ain't answer my question. <laughs> you ain't answer me, though. Like, do you know what? how I was moving around, moving and shaking last night? Oh, you went, oh, you hit the streets. Listen, my brother, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I was in the depths last night. I take offense, y'all talking about I'm not ghetto. Are you shitting me? I'm right. the ghettoist. Joe, do you want to tell? Do you want me to tell niggas the block where I reside, in which I had to take that comfortable sleep, and having to lock my doors fully so I can do so? <laughs> well, no, I don't want you to do oh, that. All right, well, there you there you go. Let's not out ghetto each other this morning. Well, everybody had to lock their doors to get a good oh. sleep, though. How many? Joe. Locks, wait, wait, wait. How many locks do you have on your door, though? Joe, uh, you don't. Joe, you don't have door? to lock your door. You never have to lock yeah. your door. Wow, that is not that is some white <laughs> privilege. Of course, you, 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 always, privilege. you always pull a white card when it's in. I don't have to lock with. my door in. No, you don't. No, you I don't. I do too. That's for your that's for your own Joe. mental sanity, but you don't. Oh, have wait, wait, to. wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ian. Can you lock? Do you need a key to lock your door? No. <laughs> wow. He doesn't need anything. How do you lock your door? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This wait, is too wait. personal. He don't won't go no, no, he won't answer that though. No, I not know. too deep. Of course, not not crazy. But like, is it like a thumbprint? We're talking. Just know it's not what you and I and everyone else uses. Wow. Well, they said hey. not too deep. I... But tell me how you lock your door. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga got that man in black shit. He got. Put I need two. Door. I need two keys to lock my door, and then another key to get into the building. Please. <laughs> See, I believe out, in Monty. Don't out ghetto me. Joe using an eye scan to get in this house is crazy. That's wild. And he got a voice password. Or he do that his voice alone. You know how you put your whole hand on the thing? The whole palm? Come on. Yeah. I mean, y'all are doing a lot. But. Damn, wait, you hit them streets last night? I kind of, I could have stayed awake for that. 
smoke yeah, it. Yeah, it sound like you slept good. good. It's okay. Don't regret it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably get some more good sleep tonight, probably. Oh, hey, I, I'm even up. I <laughs> fuck with this nigga. Oh, the 69 God is coming through? Yo, y'all niggas know a lot of people's business. Because <laughs> y'all just tell you us. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all tell us everything. Y'all know a lot of no, business. No, they be saying shit and be hoping that we get Yeah, like we gonna not episodes, remember. I just think Joe's memory is trash and he forgets the things that he said on pods and Patreons. Like, the reality is, Joe, you uncovered a lot and we just I'm remember. Not, I just forget that you guys try to retain some of that shit. Oh my God. Or we just watch the pod and have good memories. Big Dash, my man Dash After down 700 there. 700 and something episodes, I don't know how I retain anything. That's fair. Me too. <laughs> yes, oh no, Micah's in here. Mm-hmm. He would be remembering their favorite episode number. No, like, like, oh, what was that episode? No. Da, 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 been on. They'd be like, oh, I'm 52. not remembering that. That's too far. Big they too Micah, far in you, Micah, is Micah a turncoat or no? What's a turncoat mean? <laughs> it's definitely giving um he be cold switching. Oh there we go. That's what it that's what I'm saying. You be cold switching, Micah? Like yeah, he a WeWorks and he with the cool guys. Can yeah, I ask right. what, what what defines WeWorks? What is what exactly is WeWorks? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Hey, Ian. <laughs> hey, we gotta watch it because Ian is we work. <laughs> nah, let me hear. Let me hear. Ian this. is we work. Tired of this. Be tired careful. Like, what is this? Ian, you we work. Ian is definitely we Ian work. Ian is we work. Definitely we work. Okay, what does it mean? Go ahead, explain it. It means oh, you want to dance. It means you want to dance. Why? It just, don't mean, like you don't it just means you're not like us. Joe, you be over there. <laughs> Stop it. I know. <laughs> so you want Joe? We work too. <laughs> I be cool with it. Nah, but Ian be trying to shit on everybody else to big them niggas. Mm, mm. Wake it up! Talk about it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? Talk about it. <laughs> Joe, I thought you said peace. No, no, you. Knew Yo, that. wait, wait, wait. This is what we're not gonna do. I start <laughs> peaceful spaces and violent people come up. You're calling <laughs> Ian violent? Ian is trying to be violent. I don't know what WeWorks is. Someone tell me. <laughs> well, invite someone up that does, and let's move the conversation forward. I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> is it a collective of people that are what? It's some WeWork I want to know who down here. by angels are. <laughs> uh, that was wild. Wait, I forgot they called y'all that. First off, I cannot. Who was y'all? That, that they gotta be. Else that's by. Yeah, because you know Jonay don't dip her toe in that pond, that and I don't either. <laughs> Ian, we work as a community of, of like-minded people. That's all. Okay, is Danny from the stop we work? <laughs> yes. He the king we work. <laughs> well, see, now I'm feeling like I'm being hated on, because if I'm we works and Danny's we works, that means... Joe, jo, are you we work? There he go. There he go. That's why you did. That's what you say, for Ian. Oh. Hold on a second. Give me a little grace here. Is Joe WeWorks? Yes. 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 Hell okay. yeah. Yes. Why he wants to lie? No, I, we I don't know why he's the lying. The problem we're having is that there, there are many different people. Like, when you just say WeWork, it just doesn't describe a, one person. Like, there's many people in WeWork. So, Man. I don't know why everybody's well, so offended. You to us since you know the different levels. What'd you say? Explain it to us then, Joe, since you know the levels. I can't because I'm a Sigma. Oh, my God. Wait, you're yo, Sigma? Yo, shut the fuck <laughs> up with this Sigma shit. can't, yo. Honestly. <laughs> like, Sigmas can't even. I don't even. I mean, I don't Sigma know what y'all be doing down here. I'm mad this nigga Shells even says. John A, I don't, uh, he's going to say it about 30 times on the next podcast. Yeah, because that's. Yeah, he is. Listen. Are the are the WeWorks the alphas of this ecosystem no, or what? Ian. Ian yeah, be a messy. He know better. <laughs> Yo, Ian you know is better. messy, y'all. I'm telling Ian you. Ian is messy. Now I understand why you and Joe get along so And much. so are you. I asked you already to change the title of this. And you said titles don't shouldn't define how you feel. Well, it says betas. I want to know exactly. if Ian and WeWork I know make what's me going an alpha. On, Joe. You're not gaslighting today. It's freaking Saturday morning. <laughs> I will mute up and change the title. BRB. Damn. BRB is crazy, bro. You don't have to go far. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I just learned how to change the title this morning. Okay, be careful. Listen, oh. one time I tried to change the title and I ended the whole space, so be careful. <laughs> That's funny. Because <laughs> I looked to the left and, and I thought that was the save and it was leave. I just so, want to say name. this is so... <laughs> You're too young just, for this. Girl, I know. This I don't is know. totally Listen. off topic and just so random. I just want to say, you fucking people that drive Broncos, you will never be a fucking Jeep, okay? That's all. Damn. <laughs> Nah, these niggas be trying to drive with a I'm trying to do everything we do, man. Going somewhere with that shit. If I see a duck in a Bronco, this nigga Joe is crazy. Oh my god, what? I'm not doing it today. Nope. Uh-uh. Ian. Yes. Hi. Do you think calling someone a beta is an insult? Calling someone is calling someone a beta an insult? Oof. Uh, absolutely not. Why not? Because people have positions in this world, and some people are alpha and some people are betas. And I think, okay. do you, do depending you on a beta being like bitch assness or like wiss wussies and stuff like that, because that's how they were kind of, well, some people were taking it as like that. No, they're more like they're more like go with the flow subordinate type of people. Like they're just like need to be told what to do. Subordinate? I tell you that that word is there, subordinate. <laughs> subordinate is crazy. Yeah. They're they're not they're not natural born leaders. So they need to be told what to do. I don't know how y'all do. don't think this does not seem disrespectful in the eyes of a man. That's not first dis- off. The more you guys define it, the more disrespectful it becomes. Like for real, so, I was just I'm about like, to say the that. They to- I'm like, how about we just stop using it because it's sounding crazy. Wait, who yeah. is it offensive to? And I'm I've confused. never thought that I would say that I understand now because now I understand. I'm like, what, who the hell are you calling a beta? The more y'all define it, like, damn, grown men will be offended by this, Ian. Wait, but can can a can a woman be an alpha? We don't. We don't. Thank we don't, you, Ian. Don't. I said we all don't. of this last night. We, we, we don't, don't have those arguments. That. All of that. Yeah, no. Yeah, we no, yes, they, yes, women can absolutely be an alpha. There are alpha women and beta women. Yeah, but we don't care either way. But we don't. Yeah, we don't. It don't matter to us. Yeah, women do not describe so themselves as alphas or betas. Yeah, we don't care. Hey, you we don't you do it to some, like, why are you trying to throw women in business? There's been, listen, let me say this. There's been women that I've interacted with that are alpha and made me feel beta. <laughs> oh, she was doing too damn much. <laughs> she made you feel beta, Ian? You said no, I didn't say she. I said I've experienced that before, which lets me know there's definitely alpha women. I don't think it's gender specific. Okay. I couldn't agree more. Thank you. I agree with every word you say. Our gender does not care. Men care how you label them alpha or beta. Women usually don't. Because it's emasculating. Women you know? care. That's cap. Women do care. That's cap. Ian, which on, women y'all on, been around that care? Are y'all? Are y'all? How are y'all men telling us what we care about? Hello. I have a wife. Hello. Okay. Hello. Men gonna speak for women. They may have a different <laughs> opinion <laughs> than you. Your, hello. Ian, <laughs> Ian. Ian. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Are you talking, don't, you don't talking do over black women? I don't. Oh, know what's don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we get we get close to we get close to Ian. No, yeah, I, yeah, you got. I'm zipping up. I have no comments. Go ahead. <laughs> it's a All smart said, movie. And I, <laughs> very smart. Said, they I'm tried saying, trapping me there. You heard? Yeah, that. they tried. <laughs> what they I'm almost saying, had you. Ian, Ian, what I'm saying, I'm not saying that there are not alpha type or in terms of identifying with mm-hmm. alpha type behaviors, women and beta type women. What what, I'm, what we're trying to say is. We don't talk like that. We don't call a woman an alpha woman or a beta woman. We don't. That's not a part of our language. Okay. Is what I'm saying. We don't. I know you call it something else. It. What we call it? Yeah. Possibly Tell us. call it. I can't. I'm not gonna say it because then you'll just ridicule me for what no, I say. No, Listen, it's a lose lose <laughs> situation. No, we're not. Smart no, we're man, not. buddy. It's a we're safe space. You. Talk to us. We're this is not a safe space. space. Don't Everything don't about this is unsafe. <laughs> well, blame Do you. not be fooled. Blame I'm you. not fooled, buddy. Ian. No, I'm not blaming Joe. But we're just asking, know. We're asking you so you could tell us for real. 
Oh yeah, for real. It's just us on the <laughs> yeah, That'll do it. <laughs> that, you got it done there with that one. Listen, all I'm saying is you guys do refer to yourself as that. You have different way of posturing it and communicating it within other female communities, but it's, it's you do me. have it's that. You call it something choices? different. Are you referring to like when we say you're a pick me or not? Is that uh, pick me is different. Okay, I'm just, I'm just. I'm pick me is different, and alpha and beta really exist know. in all, in both genders. Okay, okay. I really want to know. He's why don't safe. you like? Why don't you like the thought of it existing with theme, with women? I don't understand. No, it's it not exists. that we don't like we it. Don't but like we it. It doesn't seen. matter as much as what. Yeah, we don't. It doesn't matter to us. But oh. it matters. We, are, but, but we are more worried about being passenger princesses and soft lives. But my Period. thing is, but we're talking about the men. Okay, mm-hmm. this is a man conversation. I oh, they gonna flip want, it on us every time. I thought you, you guys wanted to talk about y'all. It's men's health, men's what is it? Mental health awareness month. <laughs> she don't <laughs> never get you, it right. Women don't get kicked off the stage. Women. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> hey. You know what month it is? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's Pride I'm Month. Just saying. Wow, beats. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan said, "Wow, yes, pizza is, but we try to pick up the men on Father's Day weekend." I'm just trying to figure out when you're like, for example, this title. Yeah. Do you think that that's going to empower a beta man to feel a type of way positively? Yeah. Yes. What do they? How, what is the positive feeling a beta man is going to get out of seeing that? He's going to realize he needs a hug. Wow. <laughs> Hugs or, or he might realize he need to step his alpha up a little bit. Hugs are positive. Yeah, hugs are positive. And no, a beta doesn't want to step his alpha Ian game up. He's happy being a beta. Are they? Ian, this community is just toxic. So you can say the most positive, <laughs> no. healthy thing, what and the they're going to interpret it. Well, that's, that, that's what I was saying yesterday when I was talking to you on the pod. I just felt like. I, I was genuinely saying how I felt. And then everyone in the room looked at me like I had nine heads. I'm like, this is healthy. Why the fuck is everyone looking at me like I'm an alien? Uh, we I don't, which talk were we doing that with? Double standards. Oh, well, double standards exist. You got to find the ones that you with and the ones that you ain't with. I get it. But that, to me, is an unhealthy starting point to a relationship. It's toxic. What, double standards? Yes. It leads to a fight that you could prevent by not having them. That's my opinion. Mm. Well, none of us are powerful enough to create them. Oh, yes, we are, buddy. Well, what double standard do, that we discuss do you think that we create? Okay. You, you laid out a very simple, rudimental double standard that exists in culture today, which is... Can you go ahead and like all the hot women's Instagram posts and then turn around and tell your significant other, girlfriend, wife, whatever, I don't want to see you under any of these guys' comments or pictures liking it because it just, it's different. And I said, that's a hock of shit and that's just presenting insecurity and why the fuck are you allowed to do it and then she's not. Agreed. Okay. I agree with Ian. I know you do. Because <laughs> what okay. the fuck? You can like all these old pictures, but the minute I like so, the abs, it's a problem? So, Ian. Yeah? What we were explaining to you uh-huh. yesterday. Oh, wait. Did we say something about Bun B on the podcast? I don't think you did. No. No, no we didn't. Well, what the fuck is Bun B talking about? Oh, we did last week, Uh-oh. though. I mean, we did our last pot talking about the snitch stuff. Oh, the snitch stuff. Oh, love you, man. I'm not saying nothing bad. I have to remember when people hit me because my memory is bad. Um, Ian, I'm so yes, what we were explaining to you yesterday was that society views uh-huh. male and female behavior very differently. So it's not that we are creating these double standards. If a guy goes and likes a zillion pictures, he will be looked at very differently than the woman that goes and does the exact same behavior. That's not something that the person in the relationship is creating. I would even argue that that's something that the person in the relationship is protecting against. 
I totally disagree uh, with you, though. I well, agree I with Joe. I know. I know you do. No, I do. I, I, feel like, like I know, so, but like, you didn't answer me when, 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 when I gave you the reverse example of, yeah, you know I mean, I ain't gonna really get into it, but that shit that you be doing. What do you? you no, no, me. you could get into it. You said I have relationships with women in business that are uh, with w- with women that I'm doing business with. Now, what if the same way they're able to call me at ten o'clock, ten thirty at night? to talk about business while I'm in bed with my wife. What if there was a man calling my wife at those same times to do business with her? Men. Okay, whatever. Men, plural. That's okay. very different. Okay, let me finish. Yes, plural, men. Mo- many men. Okay, and my answer many, was... Many, 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 many. Don't be 50 cent many men. Oh, my bad, my okay. bad. My bad, go ahead. My bad. So, <laughs> e, <laughs> so my response to that is... I told you then I would have to be okay with it because I've made it boundaryless to get things done in my business with my wife. I've, I've designed that. So now if she was in a field where men needed to call her to finish what she does for work at night, I would have to accept that. Even if I was uncomfortable, I would have to accept that because I allow it in our relationship for me. Ian, that is not what you said. What do you mean? Yeah. That is exactly let, let what I said. Let him get his shit off. His wife is next to him. Wait, let wait. Him okay. No, no, no. My, listen, I won't, tell me what I said. No. Yeah, because you know that's exactly what I said. Yes, that is exactly what you said. And it's the truth. It, I, I'm not saying that it wouldn't make me feel a certain way, but I would have to accept it because I allow it on my side of the coin. What's so crazy about that? I don't understand that. What makes me sound so nuts for saying what I allow, I have to then reciprocate if that situation presents itself for my wife. I, and she, a- she, she's sitting here saying, but it would never. So that's her saying that. I agree with both of you. Mm. Okay. I think the action is like the same, but I think women have more of a regard to how things look when it comes to our men. So granted, you may allow that Ian, but like your wife was saying, she wouldn't even allow that because like as a woman, I don't want you calling me while I'm laid up with my husband at night. That shit can wait till 8 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever time right. that business opens, but it don't need to be done 10 at night while I'm trying to get my rocks off properly. So, um, but I think it is, in that case, in this specific example, it's a little different if, you know, the girl calls the guy, hey, I need you to push the buttons or send this or do that to get this done. I mean, I may not like it, but I may not care as much depending on what he does, but it's not something that I would ever allow in, like, my work or my business because I wouldn't want people calling me that late anyway. The right. same shit applies here. Jules would never do it because it would be viewed differently. Like, Julia, I don't know why Julia y'all keep trying to has, skate around said, that part. It no, would no, be no. viewed differently. No, you're right. Julia just said, I have healthy boundaries, Ian. You do not. Ian, and that was all I was trying to explain to you yesterday. I didn't, we, men didn't make up the term ladylike, or at least not to my knowledge. Like, there is something that goes into that. And it's the right. exact opposite for men, where men are expected to just... Like, like Jules said, have no boundaries. But women, okay, whether it, whether there's a man involved or not, have many have many boundaries that they have to uh, exhibit more times than men. Right, I get and that, I, and that applies on Instagram. Was the only point. I don't I don't think it makes a man insecure to recognize that. Nah, I just feel like with the Instagram thing, like. Your roaming eye. What makes your roaming Ian, eye? Ian, how about this? Wait, wait, real quick. How about this? Let's change the scenario. Okay, go ahead. Let's say the guy uh-huh. never likes anything on Instagram. Because I think right. that's the part that's tripping you up. Let's say the okay. guy don't like nothing on Instagram. Okay. The The point still stands for the woman that's just liking everything on Instagram. That point still stands if the guy has no presence there. It's um, not a, I should be able to do it. I mean, I do it, so you should be able to do it type of thing. It's a, hey, if nothing is going on, there should be a certain 
uh, just a certain way that you move. The, the woman, not the guy. Okay, I can understand that. That's a social construct thing. I don't know if that's necessarily... And that's what I was saying when I said none of us are powerful enough to create that. It's a, so, it's a social thing. I totally agree. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that but part I But I understand. certainly didn't make it up. I don't know if I would design it that way. That's, that's what I was arguing. Like, I don't like the design of it. I think the design of it is un, it's, it's meant to be fucked up, which causes the arguments that are unnecessary in my head. Right, it's design. It's incorrectly designed. Therefore, the results are always going to be lopsided because it's not meant to work. The the double standard thing. That's what I mean. Because if the standards were the same, would we see any of the arguments that we're traditionally seeing? I have a question. See, for you, I think Ian. the arguments I are the same because though because, because there's the wait, hold up for a minute, Jonah. Like but I think the arguments are the same because the same way we're saying, or the same way I'm saying, hey women will be expected to move like women, there will be man instances where a man is expected to behave like a man. Yeah, but why, are, why is a man saying how a woman is expected to move? A man is not saying that. You just said that. Yes, I said that, but I didn't invent that is what I'm saying. I know. That's my point. It's like Ian, a if it were my design, don't play with me. You know, I pick up the escorts, the prostitutes, and women from of all course, over the universe. Of course. No, I'm so, not. This isn't personalizing. This is having the discussion. For example, I, I, I saw someone on Twitter before was like, Ian, you know the double standard thing is fuck. It, it, it's true. It's necessary. Um, I wouldn't want my daughter, you know, an adult, walking around outside without a shirt on. But men can walk around without a shirt. I said... That's because you're her dad saying that. If you ask a woman, should she be able to walk around without a shirt on, without being ridiculed, it's a men's a man's rule. It's not what they want. It's what they've been taught to want. But that's a generalization, Ian, that first off, I know you might have just a different type of way of thinking, but that's not true. There's plenty of women that would not want that just because that's not comfortable, especially based on your body type. Okay. Like no, no woman is going to want that's first off is a generalization. Number one, uh -huh. number two, when we're talking men versus women, we are okay. different. So if you're different in certain areas, there's going to be things that you can do that I can't do things that I can do that you can't do. Absolutely. Just the, just the nature of how we are set up naturally is a double standard that we can't go against. So for example, Ian, you can probably easily screw something a top off of a, a bottle right and maybe your wife is like okay babe help me with this and in your mind you're like well you're strong enough you're a woman you do it it's like no you are built differently and i know that's very small it's a very small example you get what i'm saying but i think that's a foundation it's a foundational truth when it comes to men versus women there are just things naturally that align with a man that don't align with a woman and vice versa. And I think leaning into those things, which are double standards, is leaning into the differences. I see a double standard as differences. And if we all want to be, now I'm be honest, that we're all equal, I don't agree. We're not. Not in every regard. Okay. I, I hear what you're saying. I, and listen, when it comes to mechanical differences, um, I, I get it. Opening yeah. something up, uh, maybe there's a lack of stress. Okay, fine. That's fair. But I heard a noise in the other room late at go night. Go get it. Get out there's of bed and go check like a man. Hey, a I'll mouse. tell you this. When there's a bug in the room, I have my wife go get it. So Ian, that's all right now. That's giving beta. Right. I'm sorry. What's your name? Okay. I'm, a, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, but again, like, I, I think... I get what you're saying in terms of fairness and equity, but I mean, come on now. <laughs> it just doesn't always work like that. It don't that. work like that. We're not set up. Yeah, it's just some things that y'all are built better to do, and there's some things that we're just built yes. better to do. But, but, um, but, how, there's a whole relate that to like, I think that's weird. I don't know why women want to work. I don't know. I, I believe, you know, free to do what the fuck you want to do, but I'm never going to fight to wear my fucking titties out on the street. Like, no, like, that's not. I don't know why. Hey, they want to fucking be free. Be free. They got new yeah. bitches. But I don't need to walk around Publix with my. What do you mean? Out. Every because girl man, in the world is walking around with a shirt and no bra on now. It's like a no. New thing. Every girl is not. No, they not. No, every girl is not. I don't have that wet t-shirt, Ian. Well, <laughs> I don't know that for a fact. That. 
I don't Ian, know that for a fact. Ian, can I ask you a question? Do yeah, you yeah. believe that the women that leave comments under Justin LeBoy's Instagram pictures are judged? Mm, no. I don't think anyone puts the time in to judge Got it. Got well, it. Well, I'm gonna, and I'll tell Why? you, Ian, you, you, you they, think they that, that... Okay. I know, but... It's a meme page. Women can't it, comment on a meme page. There you go. Page? There you, you can. Like, no, what? You can, but it. Okay. Never mind. Exactly. No, no, no. But I, mean, I, I know we can. But I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not seeing how that could even be looked at any kind of way. Because okay, so I'm page. trying. To, I'm trying to understand. And I know we're. Wh why, where do you guys think we get stereotypes from? Then, like, what? I'm trying to understand. Like, where? Where do you think Stere this stuff comes from? If we don't have, like, oh, you can't do that. Yes, you can't. Like. Come on, y'all. Why can't <laughs> Why can a guy sleep with fifty women, but a, a woman can't sleep with fifty men? You said why can't a guy? I'm asking you, like why? I'm why is it, Why is it cool that a guy goes, "Oh shit, I've been with fifty women, and mm -hmm. it's cool. It's considered cool." But a, a woman says, "Yeah, I've been with fifty men, and I don't give a shit, and she's a whore." Well, you have to ask the men that. Because that's their double standard. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Is that uh, these women, are all men? Have, no, but women have. We have ours too. Is what I'm saying. We have our double standards as well. What are they? Um, like I well, I mean, I don't want to be, ch you know, childish. But like I said, the whole opening thing, the strength thing, the emotional thing. Let's be honest. Like some women don't want a super an overly emotional man. So maybe that's a double standard. Is I can as a woman, be more emotional and expressive with you, but some women feel like you're a man, you should be able to you know, that's not, handle that's not your emotions. That's not true. I know I'm women. saying some women. I'm not saying all. I'm saying, but that is a double standard if we're it thinking is. about it. It's a double standard. I'm not saying it applies across the board. I'm just saying right. in our community, that is a double standard where women are it's okay for us to be emotional, but if, we have, if we're around an emotional man, we say stuff like sensitive betas need hugs. Okay, I hear that. I just think women want emotional men. I think it's healthy. Okay. I'm not saying... They say they go until the niggas exactly. start crying. And I'm not saying that's, that's not... Because a lot of women, women say they want their man to be honest with them and emotional and with them. Women. And then when the niggas start crying, they be like, I don't know what to what do. What person can't... What person... What healthy man who's going through trauma or has in the past isn't entitled to cry and cry in a healthy way? That, that to me, is unhealthy. No, he, we're not saying he can't, but I'm, I'm not going to lie and act like oh, every woman is equipped to handle it. They'll say that's what they want, but they're not equipped to handle it when it actually happens. Because those women are unable to... Like, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't the best initially. Like, when my son dad first cried, I was kind of like, oh, shit. Like, like I, I, I didn't look at him no different kind of way, but I just had to figure out kind of quickly on the spot. Okay, kind of like, well, how do I support him? Is it the same way that it is for me? Like... Do I just, you know, are there certain things I should say, things that I should never say? You know, just that kind of shit was kind of going through my head at the time because he's, I'm seeing him cry for the first time. And over time, when he would get emotional with me, I just got better with those experiences on how to handle it with him. And men in general, I just feel like I handle it pretty well if they ever cry or get emotional in front of me. But again, it's not something I think a lot of women are set to do because again men are taught to kind of don't use your emotions don't cry don't do this don't yeah, do that and I will so also the, say, the moment you do it in front of a girl it's almost shocking to us the first time We're like oh shit not to be offensive at all but i also think that might be where joe is may maybe referencing the cultural difference because w amongst like certain cultures like that crying thing it, it is way it's looked at differently i don't know maybe growing up for you ian was it like to told to you in your household, suck it up, don't cry as a boy when you were growing yeah. up? Absolutely. Yeah. Like it was like now I'm now my wife wants me to be more emotionally in tune. But when I was younger, no. my dad, my dad didn't show much emotion around me. So I have trouble showing emotion now as an adult. Right. So I think that but, but as a girl, we're never told. I mean, some women are because of their circumstances and certain issues, but. There's a lot of times most women are able to at least cry. And yeah, we don't, we don't get told, told what to right. do and not do with our emotions. We just get to yeah. have them. And that's why maybe why a lot of women sometimes emotions aren't regulated the way it should be because we just are allowed to have them without any actual guidance on how to maybe calm ourselves down when we get angry, how to do this when we feel this kind of way. 
we are allowed to have our emotions, but no one helps us really regulate those right, emotions. Right. And that's, you know, our mama's jobs. Yeah, I, I hear you. I just, I, I think it's it's all, you know, how you, what what, what environment you grew up in. I, I know a lot of women that uh, are, are and were told as children not to be emotional, you know, against what, you know, the social norm you're saying is. And they didn't, didn't and weren't allowed to cry and were told stop crying just like I was as a boy, you know? I don't think it's just because you're a woman, you're yeah, emotional. Not, yeah, I don't think so either, but we're just talking in general. We're talking in general, so like it's more, yeah. yeah, it's more, in general, there's more uh, opposite. It's more acceptance. Like, it's more women that are accepted. It's more what society deems it yeah. to be overall and how yeah. society The society that we have to take sense. over in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nature versus nurture. Yes, man. I did a paper on that in college. It was. And really they good. tell me I don't have positive spaces. Tuh. Joe. Okay. Tuh. Really? Joe, please. Tuh. Get the nerve. The nerve. <laughs> the nerve. He couldn't wait to come off you to pass up. Because oh, no, let me. No, I'm gonna. I I'm gonna ask you, Joe. I love your spaces, Joe, but you need to stop stepping on your own pot. Mm. I'm actually gonna ask Joe a question. I don't drop the pod just for like a Saturday morning. Listen, you know. Joe. I know, but <laughs> we. I know we can listen you on can Sunday, listen but by the time Sunday comes back around, want. we got another episode dropped. I think it's so great. You can even listen to it next week. Nah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> We'd be waiting too long to be trying to wait till next week. Right, while we got yeah. four other videos backed up because we waited. Yeah. Yeah. What you was about to say? You had a question was, or something? Yes, I was going to nah, ask he cut you us off. a question. No, I was going to ask you a question. So are you going to discuss, by by the time we get to the end of this month, any men's mental health topics? Mm, who knows? Mm, okay, maybe it's an idea since it's, it's your pod and you have a platform and you're a man with mental health. Or maybe I'll protect the men's health <laughs> that's on the podcast. And not Did y'all saw Michael Rainey post that video? He, he used the future. She's gripping all of my balls. I'm in the mood type shit on what? his picture. All right, never mind. Wait, <laughs> we did not fight this hard for him all week for him to do that. Yes, that's what I was like. Honestly, he. And that's why I said, like, with, he probably cared in the moment, but Riley probably didn't really care too much, but saw all the backlash going on and felt like, well, let me say something and kind of, you know, do the political correct thing to do. But for you to then post two days later using that song, that specific line, it's like, nigga. Yeah, no. Like, we were rooting no, for you. No, seriously. <laughs> we were fighting hard for you against men and women. <laughs> And that's why 50 was on some. That nigga don't care. That girl was aggressive. As hell. And she Definitely. still needs to be put in jail. But that, that was just his his male ego kicking back in. He was embarrassed mm -hmm. about the kind of the attention he standard. was getting. Okay, I'll take that. I received that. Yeah, he didn't like being looked at as a babe. As a babe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, Joe, I know, I know you probably have seen, I know you're in the community. You were getting a little, uh, not you, but the guys were getting a little pushback when you guys talked about that topic and how you guys diverted it to the male hug. They wasn't feeling uh, that. I saw. I read. They wasn't I read feeling that. that. They wasn't feeling that. I don't like that I get grouped into you guys. Sometimes you just got to let the flow of things happen. That was like a flow happening at the time. Would you but you agreeing? But what was the resistance? Let's let's do it. I'll I'll try to defend it, a take that wasn't mine. All right. So again, I'm I'm not one of the ones that said anything, but I did see the point that was being made was in talking about the Michael Rainey, why did you guys try to weaponize something that Mel does and kind of almost paint her out to be predatory? Oh yeah, I can't defend that one. <laughs> <laughs> see? I that's think the, I think the, I think what they were trying to get to, I think what they were trying to get to was the fact that this chick was bold enough to do that in front of children and a room full of people speaks to how women sometimes just don't even know when they are either making a man uncomfortable or sexually harassing a man because it's assumed that men want that and then they brought up the male hug as an example 
I think that's what happened. Right. And then Mel proceeded to say everything that we're against people saying when it comes to sexual harassment. So I thought it was an interesting conversation. No, I thought it was interesting too. I'm saying is I know what that male hug looks like in real life, and I give a little male hug every now and then. Y'all give male hugs. Y'all know what no, that when, fucking but male but hug. But Joe, but I'm but he's right though. I'm I'm four eleven, so when I hug people, my arms are always under theirs. But up like, the back. So I hug is like that what you're saying? Like yeah, like I hug upwards. Like my hands are like on their back. You can't just wrap like, around the waist. You, Yo, do you um, hear? Well, Y'all need to be depends. arrested. You can't. You can't do a side hug. I mean, I don't do that. I don't. I usually I do side hugs. If I'm giving that. you a front, like we're touch, our bodies are touching in the front hug. It's because I wanted to touch. Like if I usually give, side yeah, hugs. I don't give side hugs because if I'm allowing you to hug me, it, like we have a rapport. I don't just be out here hugging people. And I think that's maybe what Mel was trying to say is that I'm never just. I'm yeah. never putting my male hug on someone that I don't have rapport with and well yeah, yeah but that was bad. cap yeah okay well okay so you know more okay See, that's, okay. Why, that's, I, why they, that's why they that's why they pressed it, it. they pressed it, it because they felt like it was cap I'm gonna be so honest with y'all Joe I love first off you know I love that I love the pod down but what y'all do a lot of the time is y'all have so much context when it comes to male and why don't you just say it so that way in the moment she understands what you're talking about? I, or maybe, she, I don't think she's playing, I don't know what you're talking about. I think in the moment when you're bringing up a good example, because you guys say, never mind, never mind, never mind. She's just really waiting for you to give the proof so she can understand the context. And I feel like you guys don't do that a lot. Jordan, and then many times we stopped that podcast, saved exactly what we won't say on the podcast oh. so the person can respond and it still doesn't happen. Oh well, yeah, shit, I tried. So, okay, never mind. So she she was giving it. She was <laughs> giving <laughs> a very clear example of a guest coming, stating his boundaries, and so on and so on. She was giving that example. She was. Mel is a smart girl, but I definitely think she purposely plays oblivious. Sometimes. But I do agree with y'all. Like she plays oblivious. Niggas try to drive a point home, and it just sounds like a bunch of niggas on Mel's dick. It's enough is enough. I'm sick of it already. I do agree I think, with that point. I think she does that for it to sound like that. See, me too now. <laughs> like, she Yo. know what she be doing. Mel is a smart yeah, fucking she's girl, smart okay? Yeah, she be playing the game how it's supposed to be played. <laughs> yeah, oh, she's good. You, you, like, you if think, I do this, Mel, Mel everybody gonna be on audience, my side. For her audience. Yeah. Hmm. I, I, I disagree with that. I think Mel Mel is not playing for uh <laughs> Yes, she do I'm going to be it. honest. The way Mel walked off during that man bear, I don't think that was playing. I think she was very serious. So. No, she, she was, was not playing then. She, yeah, she was, was very serious. serious. <laughs> so. She went off when the cameras went off, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. She was definitely giving cut yeah. the camera. Yeah, yeah, cut yeah, off. She was yeah. Cut off. Yeah, yeah she, she was over that, that shit. Does that happen at least like once a pod? You guys piss Mel off and she does No, that? never. No. Mel never walks off. <laughs> once a pod is crazy. Feet. Once a pod would be a lot <laughs> of Like, come on. <laughs> I can see them niggas getting under her skin every pod. <laughs> Just so you guys know, Mel's only, I think Mel's only issue from my observation is if you're in a room and you're the only female in a room and you have a great point to make, but you have no one to soundboard off of that could understand what you're saying or the perspective you're giving, it makes it very hard to just talk to yourself out loud. Mm, that's fair, but I be she, wanting her. Manny. Imani's not a <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> he he rides for her. I'm being for real. I'm not trying to be funny. Like I Imani's love that be... he rides for her too. He, he definitely riding. tries to give her like the landing so she can get her shit off and be like, all right, guys, shut up. Let nah. her talk. He definitely comes in and tries to like help her get her shit out. But I think once Mel kind of in the moment feels like flustered, it's really hard for her to like bounce back and just I'm spit a, it I'm out. I'm going to tell y'all as someone who enjoys a, a healthy debate, I've already peeped Mel's biggest problem is she has a favorite person to debate with, mm -hmm. which is Ish. And mm -hmm. what ends up happening is the minute Ish says something, she loses the argument to argue with him. Mm -hmm. So like if she's going back and forth with Joe or Ice on something, 
and she says something and she's making a good point, the minute Ish says something, it's almost like, Target, uh-uh, what? what did you just say? And then she gets thrown and now you're screwed because then you get Ish involved, it's going to get heightened, Joe's going to start because now Joe and Ish going to do their little tag team and situation. I object to that. I object to that. Oh, Joe, every now and then, Joe will take her side. And every I every now and then. I purposely try to mute the fuck up when they have their on-air quarrels. Right. Mm. But like, I, I do, do try to stay quiet, like but that. then y'all blame me and say, hey, why did you let that happen? <laughs> well, I don't I don't blame that. I mean, you can't let something happen between adults. Adults are going to do what they want to do. But my thing is, um, I do, I've seen that a couple of times. Like, she'll be on a really good point and it will say something to trigger her and she'll just get, you know, in her bag of trying to then go back and forth because I think she likes their debate more than she likes debating with anyone else. And that's not really how you win. You don't win like that. You got to stay the course. That's just my opinion. And then she ends up debating on it, which shit that wasn't even really to do with her point to begin with. Yeah, but, you know, we love Yeah, I do think the male hug conversation overshadowed the real conversation that should have been expounded on. Yeah. I do think that. But that happens sometimes too, like when the oblivious thing kind of takes in or whatever, is you guys spend more time trying to convince her of what y'all are trying to say. And by the time it's been 20 minutes, you don't even go back to what the original subject was. I know. That show needs a producer. Joe. Hello. <laughs> that <laughs> show needs a producer. producer you? I'm tired of you. Who's the current producer? You? That's Joe's beard, so he could produce the way he wants to. Exactly. That's all he's saying. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck y'all up one day and get a producer. You <laughs> want to step on everybody <laughs> for you. the network? And I like the little confession thing you did. Do you got anything else coming to the network? That's giving very much AO Joe feats, but it's all right. We're gonna let you rock. I, I'm just. How is that an AO Joe? I'm asking about a future project. <laughs> AO Ian is crazy. <laughs> Yo, go to hell. Hey, yo, yeah. <laughs> and if any of you betas want to come up and talk, just hit the request. Joe, why would you say that? Like, they could be like, oh, yeah. Nah, they 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 now, Joe, they is that betas. just a jab to Danny? No. Oh, okay. So there's other betas in the room. Yo, I've never jabbed that kid, by the way. I don't give a fuck what him in that group says. I've okay, never jabbed that kid. I thought you said we were in that group, the WeWork group. Wait, Joe, hold on a second. Hold on. Wasn't his... Okay, This what the, the consensus was is when you brought up the beta topic on your pod, the name you blanked out was his. That's cool, the man. consensus. Yeah, but that's self-centeredness. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> Joe would gas like the fuck out of you. You are such a freaking gas <laughs> I'm not going to Oh not my god! <laughs> This is listen, listen now. Now I get it. Yep, I'm not doing this. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait. Nope. Wait, mm-hmm. was I wrong? Is that not so? Jo- who's okay? Whose name jo- is linked out then? Are you answering my question no, or not? You can't, no, it's you not self centered. It's not self centered. If it, if he, if it's him. But you don't know if it's him. It, what is it then? We're asking you. I know, but that means that <laughs> because you, you don't have that, cannot, that's what makes it so You cannot sooner. answer a question with a question, Joe. Oh, wait. All right. The answer is no. Okay. So n- now. I think <laughs> Joe lying to us. Joe now. is a liar. <laughs> now is it self-centered? If you, you hear a bleep and say, hey, <laughs> that was me. It, listen, it would have been self-centered had oh, he not God. yesterday had a space and then alluded to the beta men being... The WeWorks. Ooh. So now you've now put yourself in a bind where you've now identified who you were it's talking never, about. It's never a bind. If the name bleeped was Sasha, that don't change the fact that there's beta niggas down the hall. What are you talking about? Huh. Sure. I hate it. What? <laughs> He'll put you in the spin cycle so fast. No, he ain't spinning me. See, that's I'm not off. trying to spin it. Yo, I'm being mad direct. There's beta okay. niggas down the hall. I don't think beta is an insult. Okay. And then I apologize if niggas felt like it was an insult. Uh-huh. And truth of the man, I don't give a fuck what niggas feel like. We know. Too much talking about nothing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Yet mm-hmm. you named the space, but you named it. And if any of you beta niggas want to come up here and fucking speak to the top, <laughs> they're not going to come up here if you keep calling them betas. All right, if any alphas want to come up here and speak to the top, yeah, there you go, there you go. Or there they gonna go. come up and they gonna say, "I'm not a beta, but I gotta say." <laughs> would you? Would you? Would women judge if a man admitted to being a beta? No. Yes. No. No. And yes. No. And yes. Oh my god! First off. I'm not going to judge you for knowing who you are. It's when you act like you're something and then you're not. That's when I'm like, okay, come on now. So now it's a, so it is safe for beta to come up here and say, I am beta. And yeah. The only person yeah. giving a beta smoke is Joe. I'm not, I'm not nigga shopping. So come up here. Yeah, but Joe said, Joe said it's not even smoke. It's like, I'm just, but they don't, I, they don't believe me. Ian. Okay. Well, let's, let's put it to the test, Joe. Let's let anyone alpha, beta or omega, sigma, Whatever, Kappa. Let's let them all come up. <laughs> all right. I don't, who who would you like me to pick? Who would I like you to pick? I mean, do you have people that are requesting? People? Oh yeah, because you can't see the people no, requesting. You, I no. mean, do you want? Let's you want bring up this guy, Alan. He's smiling. I'm scared. He's smiling in his picture. We can so. never trust Joe. Let's see. Alan, are you there? He's smiling hard. <laughs> Alan, hello. Got that cool. Right? Yo. Oh, don't do me like that. We're not doing that. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Joe Button. How you doing, sir? Strike one. Okay. I'm well. Can you not? Hear, can you not hear me? I hear you. Can I not be a sir? Oh, but shit, my bad. Yeah, right, anyway, I'm just, I, I just trying to catch a vibe. Man, okay, man, it's all good. But look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm in the park a lot. I'm, I'm like, I'm on my ice time right now. I got my daughter's birthday is about to be in like an hour. I'm just waiting so I can go check in. I'm just chilling. Happy Father's Day. Day. Happy Father's Day. Wait, you say your you know, daughter's like, birthday is in an hour? Yeah, like an hour. I'm just waiting to check in to the spot. I'm just chilling. I have to sit here for a minute. And then somebody gave me a thumbs down. That's crazy. Oh, my bad. Can we, it was can an we, accident. It's happy five. No, it wasn't. That was intentional. It was. All right, listen, happy, y'all, y'all flirt party. later. Alan, what side? What side are you repping up here? Like alpha, <sighs> beta, what? What are we doing? I, I, I'm an alpha, but I'm going to. I'm and, and and like if we being honest, I just don't like the the women that spoke that said about men that would admit that they're alpha that they're betas. And them not respecting that. Like, c- come on, what are we talking about? No, they, no, they, they are. We didn't say that. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying they, I'm, I'm bad. They said they would, and I'm saying they, it, it, internally, they're not. You're going to look at that man a certain way, and then as soon as you get around an alpha male, you're going to look at him a different way and say, like, oh, my nigga bugging. My, I'm just curious. Nigga. I'm curious when it comes to men telling us how we feel. There you go. Exactly. Feel. I'm trying to understand what the yeah. end result is supposed to be. A- Alan, argument? Alan, no offense, but yeah. you came on and you acted like a beta male. And then you argued about if I did admit I was a beta male or anyone who does wouldn't be supported by the female community. Well, I mean, you have to answer the question directly. You know, I wouldn't consider myself a beta, but you have to be honest with yourself and say, like, okay, when I I can recognize when I'm around beta males, I'm not sitting here pounding my chest. I'm just I'm just entering the conversation to being honest about what I'm thinking and feeling about myself and how I've been perceived in my friend groups and the people I hang around. And I can understand how certain people move in situations. So I'm not jumping on here and saying, oh, I'm just uh, fucking alpha. I'm just saying, like, Joe asked me a direct question. What side do you land on? And I'm saying I land on one side, but I can speak to the other side and say, uh, I don't think women truly appreciate a lot of the beta males. If a male runs into a situation and can't be definitive with their answers, can't make decisions, can't lead, can't protect, I think women look at that male as, okay, well, what, what are we doing right now? Especially when that woman is in a room with her male and surrounded by other alpha males. But Alan, know. I'm trying to understand where did where did beta men become pe- men that can't protect? That wasn't a part of the definition. 
Okay, so def- I, oh, I jumped in late. So define beta male for me then. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, it's okay. It's no problem. I think one of the running definitions we've had is just kind of like subservient. I know that sounds terrible, but mm. that's what it was. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> But Joe, yeah, Joe you, read it. Joe, exp- Joe read it yesterday. Mean, but I'm gonna use derogatory terms to explain. No, exactly that wasn't derogatory. Means. It was. It, okay. was, it was a part of the definition he read. I'm being for real. I'm not okay. trying to be funny okay. at all. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm telling you. You think I'm being funny? I'm being dead ass. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I wasn't here for that. Go ahead. Yeah. Like it was more so talking about just being a subservient, just someone who kind of not falls in line, but it wasn't saying anything about not being able to protect, provide, and none of that. That wasn't really the def- definition we've been running with. Okay. So, But if that's what you see it as, I can understand. Is it fair to say that by what you just stated, at a certain point in time, every male is beta at a certain point in time, meaning that, that is being able to fall in line, being able to understand, being able to communicate effectively, and also being able to compromise their position or their feelings, even though in their heart of hearts, they know they're uh-huh. right. A lot yeah. of times you're describing an alpha male that can convince you that you're right by your standards. But in reality, you're only doing what I want you to do or what I allow for you to do. You understand what I'm saying? So as an alpha mm-hmm. male, it's it's important to understand how to be beta at certain times to only achieve the end result is I'm stri- I'm I'm collecting marks on my tally. You see what I'm saying? So at a certain point when I let you win, you won, but that's a mark. Got you. All right, I let you win two or three or four times in a row. I got a I got a I got a month or two or three worth of marks. So when it's time for me to turn around and uh, assert my my uh, dominance, you're going to have to fall back because I've been letting you think you won this whole time. Hmm. Okay. Speak to that. Speak to that. Speak to that. Well, this, is, this wasn't really a men versus woman. It was just ah. asking if you had. It wasn't at all. They going to always make it men versus women. They always women. make it versus women. It wasn't, How about to say it, it really, really wasn't, wasn't men versus all. women. <laughs> we know you came late to the party, but th- that's not what this was. It wasn't. Nigga got excited for a man versus woman. Man, man. Dig got hard I, as wasn't try, I wasn't trying to do a man versus woman, but come on now. You know I was cooking for a second. Don't do me like that. Sure. Alan, I thoroughly enjoyed we know. what you had to share. I'm out. And thank you for your contribution this morning. No doubt, sir. Appreciate <laughs> appreciate you, Mr. Joe Button, man. I'm out, man. I'm about to go to a birthday party. Do y'all know who, Ter- who Terrell Lewis is in the NFL? Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, this girl just caught him after he, he ran out on some pussy that he didn't pay for. And she chasing him through the hotel butt naked talking about we got a runner. Wake it up. <laughs> Why niggas not paying for their pussy they supposed to pay for? I don't understand. Like It might not have been worth the cost of admission. Oh, Micah. I'm going to put it in the comments. I ain't going to put it you in the comments. You never got pissed at your now. papa ass order? Wait, wait, <laughs> that other nigga I just brought up here. He left. Oh, he left. This motherfucker. Oh, why he leave? I liked his Twitter handle. Joe, I bet you can't get one person, one male up there to say he's a beta and explain himself he's why because he's get too it. scared. Um, well, not here because y'all keep making it sound like a horrible thing. No, we do not. Oh my what? God, Joe, you're not doing this. No. Joe, no, the night. name of this makes it sound like a horrible thing. What are we talking about? No, okay. no, no. Yeah, Please. I disagree with that. What's wrong with more hugs? That's what I'm saying. My it could have been sensitive alphas need hugs. Same shit. Okay. All right. You got it. No, Some I of think um hell bent on making me say something negative. Betas, I think, live oh, longer. I stop. You are such a victim. Shush. <laughs> you know I am, girl. <laughs> Always. Won't you do it? <laughs> you guys gonna make me sound so horrible. Oh my god, you guys are gonna make me. You're gonna twisting my arm. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Yo, if there's anybody that out there that identifies as a beta and has no problem explaining anything that comes along with being a beta, please hit the request so we can learn uh, a teachable moment. Maybe. Or needed. how about maybe anyone that just wants to educate us on the alpha beta thing? Because, I mean, damn. 
you a beta, you want to go up here and defend yourself? Like that's crazy. But Joe, so sure. you saying you never felt you never felt like a beta, Joe? Uh yeah. Okay. For sure. Yeah, I'm thinking because even the, uh, when sure, Ian brought sure. up that situation with a more of a, a stronger female and quote unquote an alpha female, you would have been the beta in those situations. So you you know what it feels like. It feels safe. It feels secure. Wow, there we go. Honestly. You want to be secured, Michael? Uh, at times, yes. That's nice. All right, so we got one. I agree with Micah. Me too. There so you want to be you want to be the little spoon. I Sometimes. love being the little spoon. Men do want to be the little Sometimes. spoon. Sometimes. Little spoon is lit. I was the little spoon with Joe when we went to Miami once. Oh Wait, my what? god. God. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> These fucking cultural differences, man. <laughs> Joe, wait, was that, wait, was that, wait, that was when he slept walked and got in your bed, Ian? I didn't unmute everybody so we could continue down the same path. That's not what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, this is a... This place is crazy. <laughs> I mean, why do you remember it, too? <laughs> okay, wait, is that when that happened? <laughs> wait, wait, it was a moment. Right me. <laughs> <laughs> you remember me? I remember the whole thing. It was special. It was special. <laughs> we got a runner. When it first, when, <laughs> and, and when it first happened, I didn't move at first. I was like, oh, my God, why is he cuddling with Oh my God! Why won't Whoa. this guy shut up? <laughs> Why won't he shut up? It's such a simple thing to do. <sighs> I need to go back to Miami. Happy Pride. Who said that? <laughs> Yo, we're going back to Miami. No, we're not going. To see, you sleep with somebody one time. He's, and he's going back. You're not going back. Yo, not with somebody. somebody. No, it was a one night sleepwalk, and it was in a nice, huge condo. It was great. It was great. Well, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit! I'm never beating the allegations ever. <laughs> you gonna have some more in your inbox? Not Thank ever. You. All right, so nobody wants to come up here and address this beta. Show. But who was the beta in that situation? I was the small spoon. But you were the one who invite. Well, no, I didn't invite him. Well, into the room, Micah, please. You allow you 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 spread I was your sleeping, comfort. Too. Micah. Oh, Wait, he, he, did, he, too. he did it without oh. consent. Shit, I was sleeping. <laughs> calm down with calm down with the consent part. Once he was in there, once he was in there, I consented. <laughs> oh, he was in there. Oh, pause. I know it's pride, but but please pause that. Pause. You gotta pause, Ian, just a little bit. Yeah, that was a big pause. I never pause. If you know me, I, I don't play that pause game. Ian, you're not them. gonna beat the WeWorks allegations. Ever. <laughs> See, once again, I don't now I definitely don't know what WeWorks is. It just took on a whole new life. <laughs> You'll know on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shout gosh. out shout out to the YouTubers. Anyway, go ahead, Joe. And Joe wasn't even saying. I know, but you're 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 quiet. <laughs> I don't I don't know if um Ice is in the uh, request, but Ice Isom? is very Isom. Isom, yeah, Isom. So he's is an very alpha. Alpha. Yeah, he would definitely probably the give the full breakdown of what these words mean. He is a he's a he's an Israelite. Hi, Lavina. Yes. You know what? Huh? Identify however you identify. Let's but stop trying on. to put labels on other people. Okay, girl. happy pride. Hold on, who said that? There we go. Do you see him? Is, is ice? This beta word shouldn't here. disrupt the community this way. I love this for you, Joe. No, it's true. It's yeah. true. Come on. Let's be adults. Joe, are you remodeling your home? Uh, why do you ask? Because you asked about rugs the other day, and I gave you like some really great. Um, they were expensive, but some great suggestions. 
I wanted to know if you found a rug. I did find a rug. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing some uh some decor shit. Nice. It's exciting. It's fun. Yeah, no, it is. With or without input from mom. Uh there's nothing in life I don't get input from my mother about. Oh my god, my mama's boy. You are. It's triggering. Why? What's wrong with being a mama's boy? Our mama's boy. Mama, is beta? Mama's boy is one of those oh. things like beta. Yeah, mama's boy. I don't think people know what mama's boy means. Yes, we do. I think they do. We know what mama's <laughs> boy means. Know what it's the greatest form anyone? of being you a know, mama's you know, boy. I, I, I'm cracking the code with Joe. Anytime he has a, something associated with him, he wants to redefine it and then tell Facts. us we don't know what it really means, so that way he can skirt by the real meaning. Wait, so, all right, so define mama's boy for me so we all are working with the same definition. So, to me, a mother's mama's boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How a can a boy. female describe a mama's boy? Because Obama's we, deal, boy? we deal with y'all. No, that's your, that's your perception of it. That's our perception of it. I think Joe is a good example of, like, mama's boy without it being, like, aggressive mm-hmm. because there are some aggressive situations of a mama's boy where, like, Mama is very overbearing. Like the the son can't even like scratch his balls without asking for yeah, permission. That's a mama's like, boy. That's, that's a, a that's mama's boy. No, there's that's levels. To it. No, that's in that's very aggressive a different mama level. Boy. There's levels to being a mama's boy. And you're okay, it's, you're it's, at a, like your mom shouldn't be approving the things that we need better, in our home. Like that's I think our it's better decision. to ask Joe questions, and then we can determine if that makes you a mama's boy. So Joe, you talk to your mom every day. Yes. Multiple times a day. Uh, not all the time. Do you do you require or request her opinion on major life decisions to this day? Always. Does that include relationships? Recall relationships. No. If you're okay, See, in the no, aggressive not, form, Mama yeah. tell him who he if could be. Your with mom was. If your mom was displeased by a decision you make, would you change the decision based off of her her reaction? Uh, depending on what the topic is. I maybe would. There's been times I didn't. But there's been times I you trust have. my mom. Like I trust her. So your mom is boy. You're just probably on the the lower end of the spectrum. Yeah. But see what I mean? It shouldn't be a mama's boy yeah, spectrum. Yeah, he's not the aggressive. It should be a there definition isn't. of mama's boy, and that's where I have trouble. I'm close with my mom. I don't think there's a clear line between people that are close with their moms and mama's boys. I think there is. I think excessive input is one thing. And then, you know, input is another thing. So once you add the excessive to it, I think that gives it another layer. Mm-hmm. That's a mama's boy. No, that no, the other not a layer mama's y'all boy. keep trying to no. describe to me is a mama's boy. Yes, but there's a different. It's a different level. We're so saying tell me about the lowest you, level of mama's boy. You, you. But okay, but what about me? So you talking to your mom multiple times a day. You involving your mom in decisions, decision making at this age, and also not only would you potentially change a decision based on your mother's reaction, you express that it matters to you what she feels about the things that you do. Not doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have a relationship with her, but I, it's not, I don't see a mama's boy as bad. It's just the excessive mama's boys that get a little extra and get crazy when they start, you know, Okay, well, just know it. I don't have any problem wearing any of the shit that you just yeah. put on me. If that's a mama's I, boy, I don't, then I don't so good. You, you've also shared on the pod, you know, you, you, you know, you and your mom have lived together and stuff like that after you were an adult. So little moments like that, some people would say, oh, yeah, you're probably a mama's boy, which is not bad. I think you have healthy boundaries, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. My mom living with me while her... Well, we don't know the reason. I'm just saying, if someone were to hear that. I'm not saying that... If a woman was to hear that in particular. Yes, 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 yes. I don't want... We don't need the Um, justification, because I get it, but... But the justification changes how you view someone living with their parent as an adult. That's what I'm saying. If somebody would have come to me and say, hey, I'm I'm 40 and I live with my mom or my mom lives with me, that sounds mama boy. 
mama's mm-hmm. boy. That's mm-hmm. very different from your mother needing a place to stay for a mm-hmm. period of time and coming to stay with you while something is happening to her home. I don't think that gives mama mama's boy at all. So maybe maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I think that the like, reliance. I'm open to it. I think the reliance or the feeling that you are unable to make a decision without her input, you need the reliance of her input is one thing. It's not mm-hmm. that you need her input, you value her input. So I think that's the difference. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what I'm trying to highlight. But you that's yeah. you're still you're a mama's, mama's boy. boy which is <laughs> okay. But I'm not trying to escape being a mama's boy. I just don't agree with the reasons that y'all are saying. Cool. Like I have a mom. I'm close to my mom. I value my mom. I, I'm just like my mom. We're we're the same. I fuck with that shit. There's nothing nobody can say to shame <laughs> me having. We're a not shaming you. We're saying it's okay. I'm not saying you. I'm saying anybody. I mean, there is a negative connotation when people say "mama's boy." It's never said in a way of like, "Oh, you're so great. You're a mama's boy." It's oftentimes with a negative connotation, especially as you get older. But I think what you're saying is you value your mother in a way that is beyond the typical mom-son relationship, especially at this age. It's a double standard, you know. When you're dating, to... mama's boys and betas are getting crushed today. <laughs> betas shouldn't be getting crushed. Betas shouldn't be getting, getting crushed because beta is not. We are giving it its own denotation, but the 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 real meaning is he's the peacekeeper. He's Mister Reliable. He's oftentimes the empathetic person. That's not negative. Yes, that's true. Also. The roller coaster is a lot more fun than the merry-go-round. For sure. Not if you got a headache. <sighs> the roller a lot coaster. of people don't like the it's roller much coaster. It's more fun than a merry-go-round. I cannot. So I get toxic. migraines too easy for all that. That was so toxic. Oh my god. Um. Hmm. Okay. I actually agree with what Levita said. Boom. Me too. Me too, but Levita came off mic and said, hey, Beta should not be getting killed like the mama's boy should be getting killed. That is not what I we said. Were that is 100% boys, not though. what I said. Joe, are you Levita, feel, well, don't how let you feel it today? Because this feel like you just heard in women speak. I keep trying to tell y'all. Don't let y'all him do let, this to you. Don't let Joe spin y'all. It's not happening. Yeah, don't, don't let him do this to you. Wait, I don't want to spin anybody. <laughs> I, don't don't let him spin I said something and you heard something completely different. You <laughs> no, Yo, I repeated exactly what she <laughs> Levita, said. That's not what she said. Levita, don't let him do this to you because Joe we know what you said. Just put me in the coin up mean. spin laundry for real. I Listen, wish that narrative died. What do I have to do to kill that narrative? Stop Be the it. empath that you are. <laughs> Be the beta. I'll never stop doing it. First off, Joe, when Be I tell you... Be the beta that you are. <laughs> Joe saying he's an empath. That's I'm the roughest still point trying spin. to figure out Wake when it up. he's going to lean into that. Because where? When and how? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> I said I got another year. Joe, I think you're an empath in hindsight. Joe, I think this is your you take the time, year. I think when you take the time to think about stuff, you then you your, em- your empathy rises up know. after the fact. He, you know what? How about this? I am whatever they say I am. Oh, and if I wasn't, <laughs> then tomato, why tomato, would they tomato. say I am? <laughs> Boo. He's a victim. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> BRB, I'm gonna call my mom. <laughs> Aren't a lot of alpha men alphas in their professional life and then betas in bed? Ooh, kinky. Uh, Levita. I gotta think <laughs> about that. I don't I don't know about that, Ian. I think they're probably more beta in their professional life. I think you're alpha. totally off about that. It's it's. I know a lot of powerful people that, in the personal side of their life, want to be controlled. All right, Ian, Ian, you had an episode came out, and these narratives are coming from there. Um, abort. <laughs> this man, Mike, said abort. 
Well, that's what Joe earlier said, the cuck narrative. And that narrative is sort of entwined in that. I'm just but address, I think I'm addressing question. what I know. I know things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm definitely not about to refute your knowledge of this. Yeah, I don't want to tell you you don't know things, so I'm a beautiful. I don't think you're wrong, Ian. I mean, a lot of times people who have confidence in one area of their life tend to be um a little bit more sedate in other areas. I agree. It's uh, I think it's human nature where you have a ton of control power and people relying on you. You like to let that guard down when you're outside of that position so that you don't have to take on that role. And I think if you're an alpha in those other areas and categories, then in the, the opposite categories, you're usually assuming the role of a beta and letting your partner of sorts take over those, you know, roles and responsibilities. Just naturally. I believe this room will close pretty soon. He really did go to call his mom. Lavita. <laughs> 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 no, but I, I see what you're saying, Ian. I think sometimes you are tired of like exerting control everywhere you're at, so you might be a little bit inclined to do that. Um. Okay. Joe just said he can't hear anything because he took a call. Yeah, he um. It said the host was having connectivity Connection. issues. He's probably going to close the room. Hold on. He just made me a co-host. Now what? I can invite him on. <laughs> no, he oh, yeah. no. When he's he the already host, <laughs> it's gonna boom it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he he might it, it might if work he, with if the he co comes back, if he comes back on. No, when it's a co-host, it doesn't stop the room from booming. Oh, okay. If he lost service, Joe has to come off. He can't get back on. Can he at least try to get on? Because it's still showing him as muted. Yeah, I just I just tried something. Let's see. The silence. The silence is eerie. Joe, are you there? <laughs> 